uh, do you think that Colin Kaepernick will be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame one day? And Jerry was like, what are you talking about? I was like, he absolutely will. He's going to be seen yeah, as funny. Like, Mike and I were talking I about that before, that before the show. The show. Yeah. He, put a, he put a poll up, and I think the majority said no, like the vast majority. He's going to be seen I, like Billie Jean King or Jackie Robinson. Yeah. That's how he's going to be he'll, viewed. He'll be a hero. Yeah. And look, I mean, uh, it's easy to rip him, but he's, he's gotten some of the conversation started, and I think there is some credit to be made for that. Uh, yes. What else? What else do we have going on today on this so, Wednesday in our first week back? I'm a little confused about this Kaepernick situation. Is he first? It came out when we first texted about his life series, whatever uh, Netflix thing. I don't thing. want to talk about. All right, go ahead quickly. I, oh, but so he does he? Me. Does he have a Netflix deal and a Disney deal? Yes. You see, it's two different. Excellent. Which one is Jamel producing? Disney. The, the Disney deal. Okay. So she's back with ESPN then. It's and some that. loose affiliation, I guess. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> so this will be. Fully, they'll do the full investigation of his life, right? It'll be all, you know. Yes. All good. All, all good and bad. All, all, all yeah. Well, he's, I think he's narrating the Netflix <laughs> oh, one. God, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I saw somebody tweet this yesterday. I think it was actually Tom Shattuck, who uh, is, I think runs a Lowell Sun, right? Yes. He's the editor, the opinion editor yeah. of the Lowell Sun. A friend of ours, and he's on Jerry's podcast mm-hmm. all the time. He said yesterday, uh, do you think that Colin Kaepernick will be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame one day? And Jerry was like, what are you talking about? I was like, he absolutely will. He's going to be seen yeah, as funny. Like, Mike and I were talking I about that before, that before the show. The show. Yeah. He, put a, he put a poll up and I think the majority said no, like the vast majority. He's going to be seen I, like Billie Jean King or Jackie Robinson. Yeah. It, that's how he's going to be he'll, viewed. He'll be a hero. Yeah. And look, I mean, uh, it's easy to rip him, but he's he's gotten some of the conversation started and I think there is some credit to be made for that, to be said for that, but but that that's not why. I mean, he will be looked at now as like 50 years from now if he never plays again. The worst thing for him would be to come back and play again. I think he knows that. Yeah, also the why he's very yeah. smart. That's he's, why he's, he's he's done subtle things to make sure that he's not going to play again. Like he had he did his the the training, the practice uh, round. He just doesn't, he doesn't, he was down the south and he came, he came up with like new clever rules to exclude people he just from coming It's not from good for his in. brand to play anymore. No, 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 to no, no, send no. the bench would be some backup quarterback somewhere where it doesn't it's for him it seems like now he's going to continue this narrative that he's been pushed out of the league, which yeah. isn't really true. He also sued the league, which isn't a great move if you want to play. But the best thing for him would be to never play again, seen as a martyr. And as 30, 40 years from now, think about this. Kaepernick's a young guy, right? He's probably 30 maybe now? 32? Let's we'll say he's yeah. 32, whatever. 60, 32 year, 30 years from now, he's 62 years old. And things have changed unbelievably in the world. You think of the differences from 30 years ago to now, then 30 years ahead. Kaepernick's going to be seen, accurately or not, as the point guy on that, he yeah. is absolutely going to be in the I, football hall of fame. I don't, we're, not, no, we're not even talking about the the hall of fame. We're talking about Nobel Peace Prize. No question. There's no question. I don't even think. Did one of you guys disagree with that? No, no. I, I oh. said it's funny because the vast majority of people that voted on that poll well, they said think no, of it, they, they, but I they, think he absolutely will. They're not thinking of it. They're thinking of him they're as thinking a player how, or They're something. thinking how yeah, they yeah, yeah. feel. Right. And as a player, of course, he wasn't a Hall of Fame player. No. But, but as a historical figure, how he's going to be seen, how he's going to be portrayed. Yeah. I think there's not even that's not even no brainer. I think a as lot of people as, think that's going to change. Like they, why, the, why? the people that hate Kaepernick think eventually they're going to see it my way. They're going to hate. Think, hate it's going. Hate the history is going in a different right. direction. But think right. of the age of the media right now. The guys who are Kaepernick's yeah. age right now, they're going to be the guys who are voting for the Hall of Fame in thirty years. I also right. think. I also think that the stuff with Kurt Schilling, the politicization of his Hall of Fame entry, it was a turning point because now it's not about your athletic performance. Oh. Now it's about the opinions and attitudes. Jerry like and the I had writers. Will of people. Jerry and I had writers on who. We had this guy, Mike Shalin, on who wrote for the Herald Forever and said he wasn't going to vote for Schilling because he had Nazi uh, propaganda in his house. Because he had World War II memorabilia. Yeah, I'm like, take it easy, Steve. We had, I, brought, I pointed it out. Take it easy. <laughs> I pointed out to Shalin. And he's like, oh, I didn't really know that. So he didn't vote for him. Like, he didn't, he didn't <laughs> vote, you know, he didn't vote for Schilling. And again, you don't want to vote for the guy. Don't vote for the guy. He's going to get in next year anyway. But, the, uh, but, but, but it's funny. Yeah, guys will vote for Kaepernick despite the fact that he's not a Hall of Fame player. And they don't vote for Schilling, despite the fact they know he's a Hall of Fame player. It's it's just it's to me. I don't care about the fucking Hall of Fame anymore. I used to. I really did, but now it's just like now it's just become a politicized media thing completely. I mean, like if um, obviously this guy's not a Hall of Fame player, right? But <clears throat> let's just say uh, thirty five hundred career hits, two MVPs, mm-hmm. um, three twenty six lifetime batting average. Okay, and that is the candidacy. Let's just say. Of Aubrey Huff, right? No, I, I don't. <sighs> you, in fact, you said you think Schilling's going to get in next year. I would have said that last year, but now I don't think so. Oh no, Schilling's going to get in because I, I just think the numbers. I actually think I actually think in a weird way, Schilling, the, the voters almost been shamed in the voting for some of them. They feel like they have to vote for Schilling now. But now I don't think that'll be the case. Well, and I, mean, I think if they the do, the whole thing voting was just three months ago. What do you mean? 
The, I mean, what, six months are you, ago? Are you saying, you're saying Floyd has changed it that much? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you might so. be right. Oh, you might I, be right. I, and I think people, we're all, we're so, yeah, in the, right. we're so in that world now that people are going to grab old tweets of shillings and bring all that shit back up and say, you're really going to vote for this guy? Well, he can't grab him now. Well, yeah. Well, he's back on. Oh, he is? Uh, somebody said oh, he's back okay. on. So 2019, I can't believe I'm doing this. 2019 Hall of, 2020 Hall of Fame balloting. Yeah. So Jeter got in easily. Uh, of course, Unanimous, Larry Walker. No? Or one, uh, vote, no. one vote shot. Somebody, right. somebody didn't vote. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, Schilling got 70% of the vote in his eighth year, so he has two years left. And next year's class is like total dog shit. Right. I mean, thank you, Jerry. Other than the, you know, the usual bonds and, and all right, that might help him then. But I mean, I, I mean, I like, just think that tick up, like everyone points to the tick up in in percentage that Schilling. No, had, I didn't think of the uh, Floyd that, thing. It's true. I don't true. think that yeah, matters yeah, anymore. That, that might, you might be right about that. Yeah, I think that knocks him back down. So Aubrey Huff probably that those numbers I probably. Gave Warren a great example because those numbers are so overwhelming. But if he was like, I'm just saying like a borderline guy, it wouldn't even be. Yeah. He wouldn't get 3% of the vote. So that, but they, that's how they've decided to do it now, which is, you know, I mean. And Schilling's it, been quiet now, but God forbid he says something again. And then he has no chance. Has Schilling lit himself on fire during the George Floyd stuff? I don't remember. Not that I've heard, no. Uh, I don't think he said anything specifically about Floyd, but a couple weeks ago he had that fight with another MLB player and then deleted his Twitter account. Oh, yeah, it was the pitcher, right? Okay, yeah. That was his name. Yeah, yeah, they went back and forth. Yeah. I mean, I think Aubrey Huff was somewhat involved in that too, right? <clears throat> I would love, oh, it actually won't be the case. I would say it would be so great if Schilling was the only person inducted one year. But if he's <laughs> Inducted this year, it's Just actually making a Trump rally. <laughs> yeah, it's actually shared though, right? Because those guys from this year will be next year, I would guess, like Jeter. Um, because well, they didn't have it this, they didn't have it this summer. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. I think that, I think I did read that because I mean, you, you, if you think about it, these are like again little things of the coronavirus story. Yeah, a town like Cooperstown, which is completely like I, 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 you know, Harry and I just went there a few months ago. It's totally based on the summer, right? Right. I mean, think of the money they would have had this year. Derek Jeter get it. It would have been a, yeah, it would have been nuts. You're talking millions think. and oh, millions and millions of dollars just gone. Just these little stories you never even think about. So, yeah, I've, I, when you said that, I was like, "What are you talking? Why would they? Why would it be shared?" But I, yeah, I forget. Everything. I think that's what they said they're doing. Gone. I think they said they're combining the two. So that makes sense. We'll see. But that, it's actually a good point about Shilling. I didn't even think of that. Is I do wonder if some of these guys, but that's it's going to be wild. You have guys who voted for him last year. Yeah. We won't vote for him this year because a cop is a fucking idiot. Yeah, I mean, Shaughnessy did that essentially. Yeah, he's flip flopped like twenty times on Shilling. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't. Dan see Shaughnessy why playing the morals clause is uh, well, it's a stretch. Yeah. And it's I just, imagine Shaughnessy's not the most liberal writer that votes for the Hall of Fame. But so they'll I vote David Ortiz in, right? I would think so. Right, he'll get in easily. I would think okay, so. So there you go.